Over the years, the European Union has been using all available platforms in awareness creation on the dangers inherent in human trafficking and to also remind the public that human trafficking is real. Yes, your passport. <laughs> oh, come on. And this time around, development partners are using FIM through exhibition to sensitize Nigerians and expose potential victims to the tricks used by traffickers. Using the social media, you can share that message, how is, how is, what is trafficking in person, what is smuggling in person. So we must be able to use that power because this is in our hands. So the project is, is uh, supporting them. We would like to continue to support this uh, uh, production. A lot of our brothers travel out. My landlord's daughter traveled some years back. We've never heard from her again. And when you, we don't hear from these people, you think they're doing well. They're not doing any, any well. Some of them are already dead. This exhibition is very important. Although it will look like a film, but we must not look at it as entertainment alone. It's not only an entertainment, it's information. It's education. And it's to send the message out there for the traffickers that their days are numbered. Uh, they can go far, but they, one day, one day, they'll be caught. And the long arm of law will catch on with them. So that's the only sense of this program. The traffickers are changing their strategy. Of course, they know that the entry and exit points now are under surveillance. So they are now trying to see how they can lure our young people through movies, through the social media, selling first, uh, yeah, through football and other forms of social venture, uh, preaching false greener pasture over there, which is not really the situation. So I encourage organizations to invest in ventures like this, using movies, using music, in school. 18th of October every year has been set aside as the EU Anti-Trafficking Day. Adebola, Brooks Lane Sunday, NTA News.